Hey there, a huge thank you to all the names on screen right now. The renegades who click the join button down below and contribute to the channel financially. Hugely appreciate that, my friends. If you do enjoy the content, we also stream at twitch.tv forward slash let's suffer together, but you can also click that like button, subscribe and ring that bell if you want to be notified about when we put out fresh content most days. Enjoy the show, my friends. Hey there, welcome back to Noita. I'm Supper of Let's Suffer Together back. In the mountains, my friends, with the daily for the 23rd of April, 2023. And I'm stuck in a car. Great start. Now... See you later. I want me an arrow on stream at the moment. And I'm trying to, you know, overcome my great animosity towards the humble arrow, the projectile. No one uses it. No one cares about it. Everyone disregards it. And, um, hey, I would like, because I'm doing a longer run over on the stream, I'd like to just do a nice casual uh, daily and see if we can build an arrow to an acceptable level. But we'll see what happens. We'll see what we get. Hope you all are having a fantastic day. We're here in the weekend. Oh, marching into spring. Hey, I'm feeling it. The sun shines on me. Where's the... I've turned the music. Get with the program again. We need tunes. <laughs> what are you doing? There we are. You know, the music in this game, it's actually... Uh, did you... You actually only really get music when there's enemies around. So, there is that. That's why it might go quiet for you. Yeah, on the previous video, I had my glory of seventh video on the, you know, YouTube ad restricting it. Uh, such a blessing, you know? You know, try and do what you can here. <laughs> I mean, at least the, the silver lining, I always, you know, managed to get the video. Wow, it's not like it's banned or anything, you know? But still. A bit rude, isn't it? But on the bright side of news, I've had a new fantastic idea. Now, some of you may know, in my education back in the day, I was trained as a historian. Got my degree in history, and uh, one of my favourite subjects of all time. Now, of course, we're playing a video games here. And that's uh, another one of my, you know, immense passions in life. As you may well be aware, I'm oiled up, that's not good. However, I had a brilliant idea that you know, on YouTube, there's not that many... Well, when it comes to history channels, a person standing in front of a camera and explaining history is a dime a dozen. There's hundreds of them, you know, and hundreds of them that do it well. But that's only one source of history. Like, one person telling you, that's like... They may, they may use primary and secondary sources, right? But it's still a third party explaining those primary and secondary sources. What I want to do, and what I think I could find a lot of uh, good work in, is actually just, you know, when it comes to regular people, you know, who've experienced uh, any history, you know, having a channel where we just uh, kind of let them speak their history, you know, kind of in an, kind of like in an interview setting, but the interview part of it, like, say I'm guiding the conversation, just kind of have it as a natural kind of flow of a. Uh, you know, story, shall we say. Because when I'm out and about, I'm always su not surprised anymore, really, because it happens so often. And the amount of people you just end up, like, talking to and chatting to, say, at the bus stop for, like, half an hour when you're waiting for the bus. And you start chatting and hear all these awesome stories from all these awesome people. And having, like, a kind of people's history kind of compendium over on YouTube, on a, I'd have to do it on a separate channel. I couldn't really do it under the LST banner. It just doesn't make sense at all. It would be actually a net negative to try and attempt it. Either at this channel or to kind of invoke the LST name. It doesn't make sense. You know, it'd have to be something different. Hey, I mean, channels would still be connected via YouTube in a way under the same kind of you know name, but... Uh... But that's something I'm definitely going to be looking into, you know? Hey, I mean... When it comes down to it, there's a lot of stories out there, you know, a lot of content. And with a little bit of editing. I'm not the biggest fan of editing, 
by the way, but editing, like, a sit-down kind of discussion, no, it's a lot easier than some of the other editing I've done in the past, even though it's normally quite simple. Yeah. I'm not ready to announce anything specific here, but again, I'm, just in case anyone's got any other nice ideas or, you know, things I need to think about or anything potentially to add. Now, let me know that down in the comment section. Again, it's one of those ideas that as soon as I thought of it, I was like, oh, hell yeah, I'm doing that, you know? Literally, about 24 hours ago, I thought of it, and I'm like, you know, oh, no, Scully, come on, lad. Oh, oh no, he's so close to getting an accidental point. <laughs> ah, maybe next time. Hmm. It's not possible at the moment for us to go get Our orbs. Hmm. I was about to say that's a possibility. And the real problem here is they'll keep on spinning. The rock won't stop. Can't stop the rock. <laughs> Yeah, I think when it comes down to it, when it comes to YouTube and stuff like that, like, obviously, when it comes to making a uh, proper go of YouTube, like, there are some people who can, you know, bust their way onto the scene with one game, and, it, you know, then they can just change game for... Is that a PJ? It is! Ah. We need to safely exfiltrate PJ. That should spread. That's gotta spread. Yeah, it did. Nice. Gonna have to be sneaky here. Maybe if I put a bit of water on top of here. It's not that we can stop the spread of the fire. Oh, I got it. Got me pee jar. Nay. I am happy now. I don't know why. But it's a jar. It's the only jar in the game. Everything else is potion. The great pea jar expedition. Let's see if we can find an arrow now. That'll do for that. There we go. That's what I wanted as well. Wandage. Got them. No, but it will help us. That's a type of one that can allow us to... Uh, Get up and get our orbs a little bit. Silver pouch? That's been. That's, I found numerous silver pouches recently. Yeah, as I was saying, when it comes to YouTube, depending on how you, you know, do. Right, some people can get one game and then they retain the certain popularity for whatever they do forever, you know? That's, uh, that's the exception rather than the rule, shall we say. Again, viewer, I don't want to talk about YouTube too much, but, you know, just to leave the conversation a little. The, um, view ratios on different types of content are wild, you know? But, you know, that's just how things are. And when it comes to a niche like roguelike gaming as well, hey, we've seen plenty of examples of, uh, content creators shall we say make the most out of the situation and get really big and able to then uh, you know hmm. nice. do what they need to do even when changing game or genre or whatever but again if you look at the modern state like that's a lot of the examples are from a long time ago as well with the uh, nature of everything no, not back on that. But the nature of everything pretty much changed now. Moving to something like history, while well, I'll never abandon LST or the video game and we do, you know? And I'm cons I'd am consider this a side project. So never worry about that, you know? In just in case you uh, didn't like history, which uh, you will have to allow me at some point to uh, try and convince you. Yeah, doing something that's got a bit more broad appeal. 
like, and is less niche, shall we say, is uh, eventually the way forward, you know? If you can't grow all at once, you know, like a million subscriber, yeah, you know, YouTuber with one game. I just want to listen to people's stories and history and you know, share that with people. I think that'd be really cool. Like just regular people, you know? Because a lot of the times you see historical interviews. Like you might get a little bit from a common person, but it's never a full in-depth kind of analysis. Of, well, never listening to their conversation all the way through. It's always cut off or it's always interrupted by the big cheese, you know? Yeah, having some way concentrate on just regular people. That'll be uh something new, I think. I don't think that's been done before in all right, or oral history is what it would be. I mean, it's not exactly a fresh a fresh concept, but uh yeah. People actually listening to other people? Oh my god, you know. <laughs> it would be rare. Like, if there's one thing I know about old people, they love talking. They love talking about, like, the past. And again, it's uh, a righteous thing to do. Considering they've got a lot of experience, right? And generally, people who've been through some things are going to have some good things to say about it. You know, in terms of... Because uh... even if the perspective is biased, you can actually still, as a historian, infer some from essential bias. I'd love this to get through at some point. These things can be so irregular though. Like with their velocity, I'm trying to get them in position. I mean, but I'm just gonna use this. It's not the best one either, but it'll get through. Come on now. Ah. Oh. Course. Might be able to uh, lift myself up. Gotcha. Hey, into the mod, <laughs> into the mod portal. Uh, I wish this little picked up max HP would just disappear immediately. Or wish you could turn it off. Because when I'm trying to kick this upwards, if there's anything in the way. I can't see where I'm kicking. I can't see what I'm doing. Come on now. Oh, that's good. Um, keep running, keep running, keep running. Oh, yes! The power. <laughs> ah, that was a hard one to judge. But every time recently when it's gone up and off screen up top, I've had to move further down the pyramid than I thought I would have to. So this time, let's keep going. Pijar! So, urine jar as a liquid, if you spray it on the enemy, they will take more crit. You'll be able to crit them easier. If you pee on yourself, you will be crit easier. I think it's a TF2 reference in it. Gerated or something? I don't know. Couldn't tell you. Never played TF2. I was into good games. <laughs> ah, I always trigger someone. I want to see the enemies. I need banging tunes, man. There's a spider over there. Where's the music? <laughs> Give me the cash money. Thank you. And we'll go a little bit diagonally down here and see if we can just... Uh, um, that's, gonna, that's not blocked off. But what the hell? A little bit of terrain in the way. Don't even need to fully go at the people, just uh well, awkward. I mean that's not a bad one. Hopefully we can find arrows with very little resistance. So we may go on an arrow build run. Or glass cannon. <laughs> no arrows! Again, usually you can't wait to give them, you know, but now I refuse them. 
Uh, high mana, low cap Huh. High mana, low capacity on my starting one. That would work. It used to get rid of all slots. Say you had one slot left and you took high mana, low cap. It would literally rob your last slot. It doesn't do that anymore. However, if I did get enough mana... Because at the moment, I could fire the chain bolt. Probably once every second with it. Save the reroll for another time, maybe? Fifty-four. It's not bad. I wanted eighty, though. But two hundred and thirty-eight? That's not bad for what it is. I wonder if it could handle one of these now, though. And it definitely can't. What we do with it, though? Still up for debate. So I could, you know, bring in these. And it's not even running out of mana. It will do eventually, but uh, not so fast. We get bubble ASMR for the duration. Also, if we go in, whole, you know, the biome with this wand, these three ones I can drop and um, go about my business with. Save everything for the future. I'm kind of not the biggest fan of the bubbles, though, although they do do five damage. Hurt, do do. Should have got some water. Yeah, we'll find plenty. There you go. Yeah, the good thing about bubbles, generally, the more the enemy moves around, the better it is, because they have innate spread. Like, 22.9 spread automatically, you know? So they're always going to be a little bit spread, you know? Spread out. Yeah, you're going to need to resolve that. By hopefully having the enemy move around into your shot. Let's see what goodies we can get. Ah! The pain. Crystals. Is it safe to fire? No, it's safe for him to fire. Not me. I accidentally made that happen. That was my fault. Uh, fly downward behind my back crystals. Sounds interesting enough. <laughs> uh. Yeah, because exactly what I need at the moment. More toxic. Problem is, this is shuffle, right? Yeah, I was about to say, uh, at some point it's going to behind me back. Ah. Uh. Uh. One urge. Doesn't look good, though. Well, colour me surprised. Not bad. We get a normal shuffle, get some mana. Yeah, jobs are good. Where's me arrow? <laughs> Ugh. Can you stop trying to blow me up again? Because that's what you're trying to do. Yeah, four of them usually do a really good job. Are you you're seriously not putting any HP in there? For me? After everything I've done for you? I could wait for that to burn to check the wand. Or I could just... Oh, I've got pheromone. I can make some money. If I chill here, maybe I can speed it up a little bit. Speed it up by set myself on fire. Yeah, eventually I'll just out destroy the burning thing. Doesn't even look like that particularly good a one, but yeah, since it's the daily, we'll go check.
I don't really want to put crystal down here for obvious reasons. This is one of my least favourite ways of digging as well. There's just a few issues with it here and that. You know what I mean? It's not the worst for... You know when you're digging and you get a lot of little pixels left in the way? Yeah, it doesn't have that problem. <laughs> Just come on. Uh, in fact, if I put some water down, would that help? Hmm, maybe. Arguably. Did you just stick in the floor? Come on, you gotta give me the, you know, 10 out of 10 best. Oh, it's a whiskey. <laughs> I'll take it. And get drunk. And, uh... Yeah, my spread's even better now. <laughs> Worse or better, same thing. That's a few boys. Ah, oh, there's a chest in that. A third HP. Consider him a little bit behind on HP. Just a little bit. Not too bad. We'll survive. Probably. The likelihood is good, I should say. However, you, we all know Noya. Whether we survive or not is usually, you know, and based on the whims of. Uh, how the game's feeling at a particular point. Is it feeling mean? Often, yes. But will that mean this kill you? Maybe. <laughs> oh, I can't say that word anymore. Undeadens, you know. It was alleged, well, I say alleged, it was said in the comments of the last video that I said the word in uh, the, the first 60 seconds of my video. Yeah, we've gone through this before, right? Even basic algorithms could understand these days that I'm playing a video game and things are going to be said, you know, and get over it. Stop trying to debilitate people's livelihoods and stuff, you know. Ah, it's less about the actual kind of cash money, the whole thing with the ad revenue and the root. It's the more the routine for me, you know, the way I post content, the routine. And it's uh, disturbing and it does disturb. I mean, it is a bit about the money. You know? <laughs> That's, uh... Oh, that was a good, good start. I might just let trap. He'll hopefully come hither. Trap laid. He's oiled up himself. Well, we got there eventually. Now we'll take a broken. That broken one. Now, if I could get more slots for this wand, as, uh, the thing is, 250 to 50, the rough average of the wands mana supply. Isn't that good? I mean, eventually we're getting ones that are 300 to 100. The only good thing about that one, this one, then, will be the, uh, Castellet and Recharge time. Ooh, there's Levitanium or Acceleratanium explosions in there. And I don't, this, this dude's hovering in a real annoying position. He could have dropped me down into the, t into the slime a little bit. The bully bubbling. This is what bubbling is all about, you know? And to inconvenience your enemy, your foe, to a point where they can't advance on you. That's just military tactic 101, you know? Enforce suppressive fire until the end of time. I'm not going to get that many, am I? Dude's got a wand in there. 
any more. He had eggs. He had egg build. Yeah, because I really wanted that to happen. Hey, I'll live with it. Another mist. Hmm. I kind of want that invis. Hmm. I saw your shaman. Another broken wand. We'll go big broken wand. One of the best ways of trying to attempt to get something decent. I want to carry this PJ all the way to Colmoon. Watch me. I will do it. We still haven't found an arrow, so it looks like we're going to have to... And you probably know this from the title of the video, right? Whether I found the arrow or not. So <laughs> We might have had to have deviate and do something else. But the overall current role is to get P-Jar to call me. So we may um, impress upon that man's how we really feel about him. <laughs> no, no HP. That's ruinous for me. We do have arrow though. Ooh, hello. Shouldn't have done that. Oh, he retreated anyway. Gowardly. And now we've gone the major inconvenience bubbles. And that's what these are. And they work very well at it. Because they actually stun the enemy quite nicely. Like most projectiles do. It's just that there's normally a lot of them. Right then, there's no way I'm getting through that metal. I have to go around if we want to get that. Or I could just leave. I've got 1,668 minutes. I don't need to do anything. You're an inconvenience, that's what I. This is why people love the homing bubble. You know, you get all the benefits of the inconvenience. I don't have the angle. He has the angle on me. He's got the better military tactics at the moment. No HP, though, really. This is really sparse, man. Oh, I don't mind. You know me. Having a diverse run in terms of resources... Uh, you just have to adapt your playstyle a little bit to survive, is all. Grey rock is... There's nothing up there. There never is. There can be a heart up there, but... Nope. Hey, we'll compensate. We'll go get orbs. We might even get perks that allow us to get more HP. And it's an always cast TNT wand. Okay. Interesting. Because now, I need an explosion immunity. Which you're not going to give me, are you? And I mean, if I, if the problem is, if I re-roll again, I can't afford it, right? The problem is, I don't... I'd need to buy the chainsaws as well. Which are lucky, very cheap. Would the... I don't think the chainsaws would immediately explode the TNT, right? Because I might just buy it without protection anyway. You know how we roll sometimes. Yeah, the threat of danger is exciting. And might just uh, keep us on our toes enough. One chainsaw. Yeah, I thought it would do that. So if we want a chainsaw on it, Well, if we want a chainsaw on it, we don't want a chainsaw. <laughs> you know what I mean? At the moment... Hmm. But now we don't have enough for the reroll. Not that I was going to really be bothered, bothered anyway by it, but... Uh... Ah, right, yeah. We have 
Oh, it's a shuffle, though. You can only ever get so good a one with a shuffle, you know? It is technically firing fast. Technically. But it's just the inconsistency of it all. It really just... You know! Makes me not want to do it. <laughs> Hold on. It's no faster than this. Right, so primary, secondary. I won't have... I'll put shield and stuff on the TNT. and I could put fireball orbit on. You know, a little bit of an extra oomph on my TNT. Because it won't prematurely detonate it. It'll set me on fire and all sorts, but it won't blow up on me. That's a different... No, we can utilise it. I was about to say, how about we just blind ourselves for the entirety of... Uh, nah, it's not actually that bad. That's where homing would normally come in, go, you know, how do you do? <laughs> but I think we'd be a bubbling. Uh, hmm. This has mana issue base. Like, if I try and semi-auto this, it's a bit better. If I try and fully auto it, we just come to this end pass here. If I take the finger off the button and... You know, press it, keep on pressing it down instead of spamming it. Hmm. I do like those pink. It's short range, though. I could take Teleportitis and pivot into a run. A stupidity run? Just stupid perks? It is the daily. However, since I didn't get arrows, can't do that. It's a bit too late now, you see. We got a silly always cast. That if I get burnt up a little bit on it, it will um, send me teleporting everywhere. Yeah, we do have some good defense now. We picked up teleport tires. It stops projectiles hurting you as much. Or is it all damage? Definitely something. Oh, you take, yeah, it's 20% less damage from any damage source. Which is nice. Uh, I do want, I really want to, uh, ah, that's fine. Oh, safety snowman. How are you doing, bro? Hey, we're safe. Safety snowman keeps us safe. We have never died in the presence of a safety snowman. That is literally, I can't find. Ah. Uh, it is literally a true and real fact. You will never be able to find me being hurt. I mean, killed. Uh, you know what I mean. I've said the word again. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I've never been taken out and unalive, you know, in the presence of our man, Safety Snowman. He's a good dude. He, we, we trained with the best, you know. We got the best mentors. Uko, safety snowman. Except no substitute. You are worshipping false idols otherwise. And they will know. And you will they will not give you their uh, protection. I mean it's very limited protection after all, but uh, hey, better to have it than not, right? Yeah, I teleport tires. Whenever I get hit, I teleport. <laughs> Randomly. I'm sorry, why did I get sent in there? This is the problem with teleport tires. You start getting hit once, you teleport to a place where you get hit again. That can go on for a while. If you're on fire or you tox to yourself, it can continue to happen also. Until you put yourself out. Ah, oh, one bitch.
And we shall stay very still. I want that one over there. Yeah, that's smart. Do it right next to the one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we can use fire to take out the propane gas, though, so. You can use explosives, you can use the propane. Oh! Shotties. Yeah, that one's just uh, a little bit limited. The problem now is if I don't get fire immunity and I keep on oh dear. if I keep on firing this and I've got teleportitis and I've got explosion immunity that I make a really fast uh, hmm. TNT always cast wand it'll eventually set me on fire safety snowman mm, the drink good for him he's found his he's found his place he's found his home. I'm not here to I'm not here to disturb him. No, oh. oh, don't do it. No, I thought he might get um, sent towards us very fast. Like if he got shot, he could have been he could have been booped towards us, you know, rapidly. What is with all these ones? That's got a nice beat to it, that. Yeah, I'm doubting I can... Oh, I've got an idea. It works. So we need to burn the wood in there, right? And we can't do it with conventional fire. However, Fireball Orbit is not conventional. <laughs> Just goes for the screen. Start burning everything. Yes, a good job done. Very nice. Some heavy fire. Hopefully, take him right out. And we can witness our brand new wand. Yeah, I like how the second wand in the inventory has just changed hands like four or five times in this biome. You know, oh, we found a piece of candy. Oh, we found a better piece of candy. And another, and another. Ping pong. Um. Hmm. Because I made a mistake, right? I put all these chainsaws on the far left one and forgot to take them off. That was what you will say is an oof, you know? It's just bad. Bad policy, that. So we shall have to deny the ping pong. But not because I don't want it. It's limited use, anyway. You know, ping pong... Uh, projectiles of some sort. There you go. Let's try not to get burnt up here. I want the money. Oh, we did re-roll. Good, good. Yeah, we could, we've got the money for another re-roll. Yeah, but a straight up daily, daily teleportitis run. It's more likely that we succeed than you think, probably. Yeah, especially when we got we're encased in ice armor. You know? <laughs> yeah, if we can get glass cannon with our teleportitis, that would be the best outcome. Fire immunity. Boom, Shanker. So now I can use this without fear of at least being burnt. Also, um, speed and the double trig. Gonna go very well together. Right then. Because we don't have fire immunity at the moment, we obviously can't, you know, chainsaw these really fast. Can't do that. The spark bolts interacting and getting involved with the uh, TNT. Hmm.
in one simple trick. Still not that fast. Oh, it's because I technically shouldn't be able to fire it, but it's only because of the ad mana. I mean, with the extra chainsaw damage, I'm tickling him, you know, and uh, hold on. Ooh. Well, it's just not going to work like that, though, is it? Oh, yeah, I mean, in all practical purposes, yeah, it is. Hmm. But I do like. Really? I suppose the trigger is having an impact on exactly how it's firing. Nah, I won't keep the spheres. One, I can levitate with them then. Give me a bit more pushback. Needs the trip, needs everything on the wand, especially the ad mana. Otherwise, it'll run out. Right, take the chainsaws off this time so we can pick up two new ones and keep the TNT again. Because again, I want to kind of go in with a specific early build. Both of these ones I got that I'm using as primary weapons are, you know, we found them early, found them pretty handily. You know, these two, like right early, before the end of the third floor, right? That's what I consider early ish. Kind of. Give or take. Glue. <laughs> Rapid fire glue. Hey, we'll see what we get on the wants. We'll make our way over that. Interesting. Does it not have the mana to support it? Probably not. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just uh, fire up over. The double. Bolt and TNT to rescue. That should have told him. That's a fire potion. It's nothing too savage right there. He'll start burning. Now, toasters are going to be the worst here with their shot bounce. But if you if you actually keep shooting them while they're charging, oh dear me! Oh, I'm fine. We just took a bit of a dive down. Iron Holt, there you go. But you see, if I just keep on shooting them like that, they generally that their own oil will get in the way of their shot. Their shock, their magical liquid shot, can't penetrate through liquids. So we can kind of burden them with their own liquid by bleeding them. Oh dear. <laughs> I found myself here. But this is the good thing, right, with teleportiers. If you find yourself surrounded because of teleportiers, the likelihood is you're going to be teleported out of the situation. There are a few exceptions to that, of course. Whoa! <laughs> that was close. We're taking people on here in their own backyard, you know. Oh, I'm fine. At least that's something. Yeah, if a high rate of fire one versus toaster. You're not going to lose much of your HP if they do get a few shots past you. It's going to be limited. I mean, that recharge time, though. I, uh... Hoping for a series of good non of course. Give me broken one. Oh, I hate it. I hate it when I put some work in, in an area, and I get teleported away, you know? Especially when the money's coming and going. Nice oh, propane, that. Ah. I 
can chainsaw, because I've got fire immunity now, I can just chainsaw these dudes. Make a load of fire liquid around them. And Bob's your uncle. No, oh, come on. Are you trying to soft lock me or something? <laughs> put me in a box. I don't do well being put in a box. I'll break free of the box. I'll be liberated before you even know it. Oh dear. Oh, that looks good though. Always cast. No, it's not. It's not good. However, I'll still take it though. It's still got purpose, so to speak. I don't know what purpose, but let's find out. <laughs> Hold up, probably. Go. Oh, oh, you need to in, in this moment. Do something. Oh, again, teleported away from the place my attention needed to be drawn. However, look at the amount of damage I haven't sustained. You know what I mean? Well, I've been doing fairly well. Oh, super missiles. He's swinging, the dude's swinging upside down from the rope. Look at him go, he's loving it. <laughs> I think he's just hanging there like a monkey, upside down. Oh, good, we can get in. Ah, I shouldn't be lazy on the money. We're not exactly rolling in it. <laughs> there, stop monkeying around. Right then. Oh, good, it still works. Sometimes, if this is destroyed up here... It doesn't work. Good, non shuffle. That's a shuffle, though. Yeah, it's good and stable. I do like that sound. Once you've, uh, you know, thrown your broken ones here, that, you know, feels legit. It's a pendulum swinging forever. I'd like, I like a HP game. Have we found an HP? Oh, another broken. Finding broken ones in Heasy Base? Now that is a gift, right? Didn't even have to carry it that far. Fire and hole. I need to utilize that on no-hit runs more when I've got a very fast-firing wand. Because often I'll try and hide behind a corner, of course. But their shots can bounce. But I think it might be more successful if you've got a certain rate of fire. Just to stand. Stand your ground. And keep on firing. The only problem in no-hit runs is, normally, he's not the only enemy about. Hmm. I'm not a fan of the castellate, but we do have chainsaws and such, so... Ah, uh, let's not be too sentimental about the missiles. We'll, we, we won't miss them. I shouldn't have taken that. If we get glass cannon, I'm down 10 HP. What are you doing? Don't you dare. We've got to take Gamble. <laughs> Great. Serikivi, an extra enemy knockback. So enemies are going to go barreling away now. They're going to go, you, you know, in the distance. With our, especially with our high rate of fire wand. Hmm. Oh, it should work, yeah. We'll have more space to do things as well. Oh, yes. Even put another chainsaw on. More speed, perhaps? Yeah! With the extra enemy knockback, enemies won't ever see anything but just a blue shriek coming towards them. Could I get away with this? I can. Right, that's mighty fine DPS. 500? Although we could... Right, it's around about the same DPS. Although I do like, you know, that'll actually be, you know, bubble trouble. The bubbles lingering in the air. Hmm. 
I still got my uh, magical TNT wand. But a, j a P jar and a Sadie Kiwi, that must be the answer to the cauldron or the eye puzzle, you know? The two remaining mysteries left in the game. You've got to pull, you've got to pee on that Sadie Kiwi. <laughs> That's just common knowledge now. Hmm. I'll take this off. Might need the extra damage for later. Although we can always just bring on the chainsaws to multiply damage. Yeah, this is a savage little... Oh, medic, I saw him. Oh, I'm gooped up to the nines. I'm gooped to the tits. Look at that pushback, though. And I re... Right, this is really a day of days when it can... Oh, savage. This is really a... You know, a day of days making stupid perks that I never use. Ow. Again, he's a real threat, that dude. This, this, the, the lance thrower? He's one of the worst. We'll disrespect him. Uh, any opportunity. Because he is just the worst. Yeah, that's a bit of trouble, that. Yeah, the enemy pushback is, historically, the one perk that I will never take under literally any circumstance. I mean, there are other perks like that, but knockback being really just anti most strats. Most of the time, you'll want a philosophy of killing enemies before they can fire at you, right? The real problem is, if you knock your enemy back, the next few shots you shoot are probably going to get missed. You're probably going to miss the shot because they just, you know, get pushed back out of distance to be able to effectively counter that rhythm, you know? So something like, like Teleportitis is one of those that's it's good for casual fun runs, you know, like now. But on a long run, no, you would never take it, ever. There's literally so many reasons why not to. And the 20% health buff, you know? Like, yeah, that fly would have been zero HP'd, undeaded, no longer than the land of the people that have circulatory systems that maneuver around the body. Not do for you, YouTube. <laughs> I think that'll be alright. I think we'll get away with that one. What was I saying? Can't remember. Distracted by making stuff up. Ah, oh, yes. Sadie Kiwi, it can actually be pretty good, you know? Put a hole in something? You ever just want to make a big hole? Well, then you can. Sadie Kiwi's around, so... That's all you are. Interesting. Add trigger? Ooh, we don't have piercing, though. Do we have anything that sh... Oh, I'll tell you what, my friends. We're about to get with business... Oh, the only problem is I don't have a regular trigger. I only have a double trigger, which doesn't work. Um, I don't have homing either. Hmm. Because the add trigger is one of the most broken things in the game. What could it do? I don't think this would work. Doing something like this. So when this hits the target, it's meant to spew out chain bolts. It shouldn't work, this, because the double trigger should be trying to capture both of these instead. Hmm. Ah, uh, there was... Hold on. Oh, maybe it works. If it didn't do the chain bolt, but it did over there... 
It's not part of the trigger. I can't really shoot this. Ah, that's right. There we go. No more shuff. Oh, not nothing but shuff. Well, I'll tell you what. Stainless armor. Considering, you know. I don't know why stainless armor and uh, teleport tires seem like a good match. It sounds good, though, doesn't it? I could try and rock the enemy. Oh, I'll tell you what I do. I do that. So any time, in theory, the plasma touches the enemy, it will fire out chain bolts and fireball orbits on them. In theory, that's why it's better with homing, because this naturally pierces the enemy and goes inside them, and every tick of damage. Again, we've got a video on the ad trigger. You know, best. I think the title of the video is best spelling. Best spelling night a question mark. Something like that. <laughs> yeah! I actually prefer... I like Lucky Legs. Now, they're not good, strat-wise. However, they do feel... Uh, okay. That gives us a problem. Because I need that central... Oh, I can, ra oh, I can rapid fire? Oh, beautiful. Because I need to get in a position here and rapid fire down here. Beautiful. We got him good. Got him again. That was as good as it could have gone. Didn't see many chain bolts, but chain bolt is one of the only things we can actually actively use. Oh, really? No, I did a chainy. Nice little chainy bolt. Yeah, it's effective. This chainsaw, though, is irrelevant. I kind of want to nerf my plasma cutter. If the plasma cutter does less damage, it allows more ticks for more chain bolts. That's why I would prefer to use something like a bouncing burst that homes viciously, you know? Yeah, but Lucky Legs, the maneuverability of Lucky Legs with Teleportitis, I've, again, it is the worst thing to do in this situation, by the way. Pick Lucky Legs right now. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Because Teleportitis requires you to have very optimal movement to really help you and succeed. Oh, no, the chainsaw was speeding up slightly. It's going to be hard to get through. Yeah, it's not really chain bolting all that much. And if it is, couldn't tell you why. Ah, oh, there you go. That was a bit more. That was a bit more acceptable. Oh, we got a bad man. Bad men. Bad people. Uh. Uh. <sighs> uh, we're immune, though, so we're fine. Oh, dear. That's it. Oh, that's a lot of incoming. Luckily, if there's this many people, we'll just be, you know, hit, and we'll go somewhere else. That was always how it was going to go down. Um, not sure it's practical to try and... Hello. Not sure it's practical to try and get that one. Oh dear. Yeah, someone uh, tapped me a little bit. Because you can use the teleport, teleport to just get away, like we suggested before. But actively doing it on purpose instead of just waiting for it to happen, you know? That's a part of it all. Ah, not back upwards. Oh, there you go, though. The chain bolt being on the end of the plasma. Actually, really helps since the whole kind of homing element it can help me with these boys. Now, for the chain bolt to actually activate, oh dear me, oh hello, that's a bad number of people. <laughs> but the chain bolt to activate 
the actual central particle of the plasma beam, that little bright bit there. You see the bright bit at the very start of it all? That's the activation point, and that's the trigger. It needs to... That bit needs to touch the enemy for anything else to happen afterwards. Like the chain bolt. But the power of the ad trigger, you unlock it with the Master of Masters. Now, on the 30th of April, over at nolagameschannel.com, <laughs> over at Nola Games on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Nola Games, we're having a Noita Summit where a bunch of Noita content creators get together and have a blast doing different things in Noita. Now, I'll be showcasing it during the event. Particular boss fight, Master of Masters, which is the boss fight that you will be needing to unlock the ad trigger with. Yeah, so, make it a date. Hmm, that one doesn't look amazing. Hello. Fire! That'll do it. I don't know what it'll do, but it'll do. And we have a really, really bad wand. Well, it's okay. Ah, we've got a bad man again, but no, yeah, chainsaw. Uh, where is it? Good it. Because it was able to put up really well with the uh, high rate of fire. Is that edit right here, right now? Yeah, we did a bit of damage to him. It's been compromised. Yeah, we're just abusing an angle here, basically. Yeah, if we hit different portions, if the trigger lands in different places, it just creates a mesh of plasma, you know? But if you hit the same place all the time, you're just going to have a stack of really kind of thick, condensed plasma. Well, don't mind me if I go for the survival HP. Hmm. But we got our P, we got our Sadie Kiwi, and... Yeah, I mean, we're on the road. Victory. Homing. Oh, we don't have enough for it. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. It's possible. It is possible. So, 2,135. Good number. Hmm. Plasma is going to make this a bit harder, though. Really? How did you survive that one? Oh, money. Money, money gone down. Money mine. Oh, it's ionized. It smells ionized. Yeah, if we can get home and this one... Oh, no. Oh, no. Above all, one rule. Don't get polyed. Oh, these are permanently on. Yeah, those things permanently on, by the way. I'm not electric immune. Oh my god! Hmm. Interesting weaponry. Dominant. We're so close to getting that home. And I want it so bad because it is a real game changer. Or the ad trigger. This has been such an interesting daily. In the grand scheme of things, a lot you could do here. Yeah, we're firing you. No fear. You can see without the home and the additional firepower element. How beneficial it's been. Oh, oh, you son of a... <laughs> nah, we're firing you, so that's fine. Hey, I think once we got home in, though, we're... Oh, you... How day? How very day. Oh, yeah, just deal with my own explosives. 
Actually, did I pick up the HP? I'm pretty sure I might have done. But I might have not either. That's that's good enough. Need to find a way back now. Slowly. Calmly. Without being ionized. Now, the problem is, I don't know if I need to go left or right. Oh, I have a black hole. <laughs> Whatever happens, go up. <laughs> you know? Hey, we'll see if we can find some... Oh, that's good. That just feels good. Now, I've been here before, though. I remember that was actually a bad place to be. There's so much acid around. So, I really want homing basically versus call me, you know? And call me is going to be, with teleportitis, a real problem. Fantastic. Oh, we did take the HP. However, we can edit here. We can uh, take out the one on the homing. We might run out of mana faster, though. I'll have to take the chainsaw off, but that's a that's price I'm willing to pay. Oh, no! I won't have to pay for the short range. Hmm. Might do that instead of the mana. I could take Fireball Orbit off. Path of the Dark Flame. Well. Zero bounce. No bouncing nukes on my We're going to have the first green non-bouncy nuclear weapon history. Oh, yes. Just you watch. With a chainsaw on it. Try and find some valid targets. And go at them. Pards. With a fine lust for revenge. Ooh. <laughs> right then, let's see if we can make a situation happen where we get a lot of the old uh, bolts. All up in action and firing and kicking ass. It's just that can be long shot so easy. Shot at distance, taken out. Made fun of. By the local Hisi, you know, pointing at me, laughing, that kind of thing. You know, stuff that really hurts. There you go. You'll see a lot more. It'll be easy to see the fireball um, orbits kind of pop off a lot more. Like, if you see more than one, you know, more than usual, more than we should normally get, theoretically and actually. Ah, that's why TNT exists. But what, like, against Colmy, it's going to be the most apparent if we make it. Hey, we've already covered half of this biome, really, <laughs> you know? Oh, Swapper, though. The Swapper could end me. Oh, yes, yes, see that. But nothing but the professional. Oh, dear. <laughs> nothing but the professional plays. I hate. Uh, I don't hate it, but the way Swapper sticks to certain other enemies, like, he follows them around, right? You know? I'm sure the design of enemies is to be annoying, you know, as much as they can possibly be. Whoa! Fire apart. That wasn't the, no, that wasn't the lava I landed in before. Swing and a miss, mate. Yeah, some good, honest, zero HP, undeading. No longer organic material that is functional.
on the mall. He's dead, Jim. <laughs> I don't really want to go down this way anyway, but I just don't want to be flanked this way. Clear it just in case. Now, I don't want to go that way because uh, I don't want to be dodging. Ah, oh, man. Ghost tick. We should be close. Yeah, when I shoot, because I know the fireballs can hurt me and, you know, send me in directions that I want to go. That's why I'm pulling back in the way I'm pulling back when I'm shooting. Constantly. Reli religiously, you know. It's the professional standard in which we need to survive, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, you see. Not only will it teleport at me, and teleport to see teleport to me. Uh, whoa, teleport to me. Um, you know, the damage on top of it is real. Explosion damage at that. Ah, oh, come on, that was so close. Both times. Stop your squirting, man. Yeah, get the water down there for no reason. This should be fine. This is why Lucky Legs are actually awesome. Because you can just float above the ground. You don't need to touch it. Oh, I see you. You're trying to hide in the portal there, mate. So we made it. We did. It will take stay out, no problem. And see where we go from now. The gods are enraged, but they've got nothing to do. Um, I didn't have enough for a reroll, so it's going to have to be a repulsion, which is going to send um, uh, whatever I fire flying. Oh, I could do this, though. Oh, yes. Because the amount of dark flame that will be presented shall be interesting, hopefully. Nah, it won't. Yeah, this statue is broken, by the way. Right, we have zero protection, but we have to wait for Stee to reveal his, uh, you know, his shield needs to go down, basically, and we'll need to, we do have a secondary choice, you know, drop in the bomb. We don't have any water apart from what we have here. Yeah. I could Sadie Kiwi and drain the lava beforehand. Hmm. Interesting times. The ad trigger in this run, though. Once again, every time the plasma cutter touches and badly takes damage from the enemy, it will release a path of the dark flame. Every frame. In most situations. Death Cross, because it doesn't tick the enemy every frame. And I doubt Plasma Cutter ticks every frame. It's just a, you know, phrase. <laughs> I don't, it might do it every frame. Might not. But it does it as fast as it possibly can. Shall we say. Alright then. Especially with the legs. And getting teleportized here is going to be so easy. That we're going to have to... Again, hope and pray. He releases his shield quickly so we can fire quickly. Yeah, you get on the roof. Ah, not these shots. No. Oh, that's good. Uh, no. Interesting. Where am I? Oh, I'm the wrong way. <laughs> um. Well, my friends, this is why black holes were invented. Right, we've actually got good position here. Release your shield. Penis. Uh, go. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> now, after I got sent down there, 
How many of you thought you'd be seeing a victory here today? Not many. Not many at all. Yeah, it's, we haven't done yet. Technically, it's still throwable. What I could do... Help myself out a little bit. Yeah, and drop the... Uh... Right, how much more have I got? Because I need to make sure, you know, I can just accidentally... Because if I drop here, I don't need all of the lava covered. My legs should cover it a bit, you know? <sighs> See what I mean? But... If I throw my water jar... I don't, I don't... I really don't want to throw the entire jar in there. You know what I mean? Um, normally I would. Normally it wouldn't be a problem, but... It's kind of annoying. Ah, oh, there we are. <laughs> I was about to say, it's kind of annoying. Um... <gasps> no. Well. Um, I'll go over the roof this time. <laughs> oh, a second time. Yeah, we got that. I mean, that is the most lucky teleport I save I think I've ever experienced. Just about. Oh shit! There's lava in my water potion. <laughs> ay ay ay. There's got to be quite a lot actually, isn't there? Yeah, touch it. Touch the. Uh, there you go. Hey, fantastic. <laughs> ah. All right then. <laughs> ah, beautiful stuff. Death by plasma beam. Yeah, the plasma beam actually killed me though. It will do at least fifty damage. Ooh, what a run! Oh, what a rush, man. That was, that was great. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate you taking the time to do so. Yeah, if you catch us here, maybe you enjoy catching us over at twitch.tv forward slash let's suffer together where we do other live entertainment. A lot nighter. So if you like what we saw here. Oh, the 69th win. Oh, yes, absolutely. Yes, I have only ever won 69 times. Yes, that's actually accurate information. Yeah, true. That's uh, absolutely correct. Yeah, sure. Reasonable. <laughs> Considering. Like 10 of those runs are no hit, you know? <laughs> At least uh, 10 plus. I'd say 15, actually. But uh, no, when I changed computer, it wiped the amount of wins I had. So, hey, back on 69, though. No, we're moving up in the world. Yeah, but if you did enjoy the run, do me a favor and click that like button. If you did enjoy it, you know. And did I earn it? Please. <laughs> uh, yeah, do what you want to do. But it does help the channel, and I really do appreciate it. But thank you to those who clicked the join button down below and contribute financially. I couldn't do it without you, bros. And again. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for, you know, any support you throw towards the channel. Whether it's just watching the video as well, you know, everything helps. I'll be back tomorrow, my friends, over on the stream. Finishing off my two-day long, weekend long run of trying to build a good arrow run. An arrow projectile build run. Hey, we left today with, uh, well, a mighty example of a fine Noita build. So that'll continue tomorrow. Yeah, take it easy. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy the start of spring. Again, it's just getting nicer and nicer here. And Yeah, I'm going to continue more thinking about that idea I talked about at the start of the video. And hey, if you have any ideas as well, you know. Because again, I'm going to go full force into that. The only problem is, again, I need a different setup. A portable recording setup and stuff like that. A laptop maybe, something like that. So, hey, it's in the distant future. It's in the hopefully close or distant future. But it's going to take some prep work and thinking about and organizing as well. So, I'll... Well, when I have anything officially to announce, I will do so. But uh, hey, it's just idle, but committed chat at the moment. So you take it easy, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hey, don't forget to have the subscribe button as well if you haven't done so already. You know, every little helps. And again, get notified when we put out fresh content. And if you also have Twitch Prime or Amazon Prime, if you have Amazon Prime, you'll have a Twitch Prime, which means you can subscribe over at Twitch for free and help support us there as well. But I'm going to go lie down. You take it easy, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Take it easy. Take care of yourselves. Make some time for yourselves. And uh, yeah, I'll see you soon. Much love, guys. Peace.